Let us see the other example on column from examples that is merging text. I have data kept in multiple columns. How do I concatenate or how do I merge those columns? So I have already pulled the data in the previous video if you have seen and that's the three columns I have. The first column is product ID, category and then subcategory. Three columns are there. Now what I want, I want to bring all these three columns into one column. How do I do that? There are many methods. This is one of them. Add column and I can just go to column from example from all columns. Since I want all the columns together, there are only three columns. I'll click on from all columns. Here I'll type furniture space bookcases space 12520 and press enter. So that's it. You just press enter. It will automatically concatenate and the delimiter would be space. Make sure you cross check before clicking on OK button. So I can click on OK button and it is done. So when you do this process at the back end, there was a M function which was created. If you want to learn about what was done at the back end, you can click on this settings button and this will give you a very lengthy function. Okay, very lengthy function here. So you can see what is here. What are the functions they have used? Text.combine, text.from. Okay, here it is very short. But in the next example, I'll show you, it will be a very lengthy function. Cancel. Let me delete this and do it again. I can just go to column from example. Now, but this time, I don't want the entire furniture. I only want first three characters. I don't want bookcases, but I want first three characters. So I'll just type here as F-U-R in capital letters, hyphen, B double O hyphen, and the code 15220. Okay, so you see first three characters, first three characters, and it is concatenated by hyphen. Press enter. So it did not understand. So you have to train Power Query again. One more time, I'll type F U R chairs. Why I'm writing chairs, C H A, because here in the next row, it is given as chairs. You see, bookcases and chairs. So I've written as, sorry, furniture and chairs, F U R hyphen C H A, and 12520. That's it. So once I press enter, you can see the first three characters would be given from this column okay and the other three characters from the subcategory i can click on okay now if you try to do it manually you can do in power query by button clicks but the number of steps would be extra so i can say at least eight to ten steps but here just by writing you can do it you don't have to be an expert into power query with m functions so it will automatically do for you now when i click on this settings button you see how lengthy the function would be okay you see there are many functions which they have written together text.combine text.start and text.start text.from so it is very lengthy function here but you can do it with the help of column from examples now not only this you can just try to replace the text first to end last to end anything now one more example and the last one i'll just go column from examples i think i'll delete this column here and from example and now suppose i only want the first characters f hyphen f hyphen b hyphen one two five two zero enter again f hyphen c hyphen one two five two zero enter and you see the first characters would be only displayed with the separator as hyphen or delimiter as hyphen now i can show you the function before clicking on ok button that's a function which is written at the back end here i'll just click on ok and that's it. You have got all the answer here. So that's it. I hope you have understood how to work on merging the columns together or concatenating the columns together using column from example. That's all for this video.